Welcome everyone, this is Gabesta, and we're taking a look at the seventh episode of our Orcs Must Die walkthrough. And this is the Twin Halls mission. And you can see again, we looking at the mini-map, we have two diverging paths. In fact, they're completely separated. We have one spawn on the northeast and one on the northwest, and they will all go on their own path to the portal. So, we need to prevent that, once again, with our old friend, Barricade. Now, this mission did give you spring traps, um, and these work as you might expect. They just basically launch orcs from where they are to far away. <laughs> the problem is, they reset really slowly, they tend to trigger with single orcs only, and they have to be used with environmental effects or other traps to actually kill anything. They don't do damage on their own. So, even on this mission where you're supposed to use them, as they were introduced, I skip them. And you can see we also have a new orc, orc, which is actually an ogre. And these are really giant lumbering dudes that have a lot of hit points and they hit really hard. And as you can see, they count for five rift points if they reach the rift. But we won't let that happen. So, loadout. I'm going to do wind belt, sword, spike, tar, arrow, and barricade. And similar to the last mission, we want to completely choke off one of the pathways so we can focus all our money and defenses on one section. So I'm going to just choke off the left side because they spawn on the right first. It's going to take three, and you're going to want to do it just on this side of the stairs, so that when they're actually walled off, they're forced to go up the stairs here and the other side. If you try to wall them off completely so they can't reach any valid path, they will knock your barricades down, costing you a lot of money. So, I'm just doing those three there, forcing them up this way. And this means that orcs from both entrances will now have to come down here, so we're going to set up all our defenses here. So first thing is, actually I want to do back here. The reason I want to do this is because air walls that are attacking from straight on are really strong, a lot stronger than compared to the side attack. And we'll get started. As you get money, you can do more arrows or start using, using snare traps. So I'm going to do some snares here. They're in the east hall. And there's also barrels down there. That shows you <laughs> what barrels do. Those are the same as if you were to use the ones you have in your trap armaments. And as I mentioned in the past, the problem with the barrels is that for the cost, to kill ratio, they're really not worth it. It's 200 coins. And as you can see there, even with a big group, maybe you'll get 10 or 15 kills at most. Whereas, you know, Spike Trap will last the entire mission. So, something to keep in mind. Let's start doing some arrows. And you can see here, we've got spawns on the other side now, so we can just watch from a safe section that they do in fact get blocked by the barricade and are forced through that other port or other direction. Very simple. Let's do more arrows. We got more spawns on the left side. So let's just go ahead and 
attack them for something to do. These barrels, you can pick them up if you want. fun with the wind belt. Done and done. One thing is I mentioned because they take a while to come all the way over here. If they spot on the left, you do want to try to kill them off quickly. So you saw I was attacking them on my own there rather than waiting for them to get to the defenses so we now have a in big influx since it's our first break so I'm gonna do my tar traps back to the arrows do alternating traps on the ground and then start it up so again I'm gonna focus most of my attention on the left side here Oh, actually, I take that back. You may hear your hero talk about the ogre, so that actually spawns on the right this time. So instead you want to focus on him, because the traps will not kill him. So ogres, the best strategy for them early on is to headshot them. Well, he went down pretty quick. Um, obviously you get a lot of headshots, but the key is not to get too close to the ogre. If you get too close, he'll sort of enrage and start running really fast in an attempt to kill you. And obviously this not only is danger to you, but it gets him out of your traps if he's near them much quicker. So you want to keep your distance and shoot him at range. Uh, use your right click for your crossbow to stun him temporarily. And let's check if we have an ogre on the left now. We might... Yep, sure enough. So again, just keep your distance. And you can see I'm not hitting him in the head very often. So I'm going to right click him and stun him. And I'll show you what happens when you get close. See how he starts to run really fast and then swing? I'll do it again here in a sec. There he goes. So that's something to be careful of with ogres. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, you can't uh, knock an ogre back with your wind belt. But you'll notice they do always drop a coin. So that's 100 coins. And I'm just going to continue my pattern up this way. sprint back down to start killing things from the left or wherever the ogre might be if there is one probably isn't this way though nope also just keep an eye on your mini map to make sure nothing breaks through your defenses on the right Left side's good. Just double check the right, but it looks fine. There we go. So, finish off the oops, snares here. And then actually do snares down this way with some barricades. So, the reason for these barricades is, as you might be able to see, this forces everything 
to come all the way to here before it can go toward the portal. So this maximizes the damage that it's going to take from our arrow. And then we'll just continue our snares. <laughs> Step right this way, Mr. Rourke. Something for your face. And then run back. See if we find an ogre. Ryan. It's lovely. So you can see these portals just take you up top here, so you can kind of go to the center. You have to get back, but it's not really any faster than normal. That's right. This corner one is pr pretty irrelevant. Even these on the side are probably not useful because things will tend to start to move to the right here. If you want to save a little money. And then I'm just going to do some arrows. I think there's an ogre on the right. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes when you see a dot that survives a long time through your traps, it might mean it's a tougher orc or an ogre. Okay. So this last one will almost definitely have ogres. Just finish spending your money as you can. A little present for you, one for you, and one for you. And yeah. So I'm gonna start with the right ogre. Using my stem. Pretty good. Then I'll go to the left one. Once you get low, watch your health, and you just retreat back to your traps. You should be cleaning up the right side pretty easily. There we go. So the real key to getting five stars there is, obviously if you don't let any orcs through, you'll get four for that, but you need to beat the par time. And as I mentioned, it's really about killing things on the left side. Uh, you'll see we have six minutes to spare, basically, so we did it pretty efficiently there. And we probably have enough for an upgrade. Let's check. Ooh, nope. Not quite. So again, saving for that barricade, most likely. So that was Twin Halts. Well, let's move on.